deciding where to do our cam campaign plan with, we decided to do the wheelhouse because we saw a great opportunity with all they had to offer and how close it was to campus. <laughs> um, when we talked to them, we found out that the main problem was that the demographic of the customers was 50 to 70, and yeah, that's what it looks like on a Sunday. <laughs> so that's a huge problem if we want to get students to go there. So some of the research that we conducted, um, it's like a little blurry when it's up there, but um, we did our client interview and talked with the wheelhouse and what they wanted from the campaign. Also conducted a survey of Chippenburg University students, which is listed here, and conducted a situation analysis. Um, situation analysis, for those that don't know, um, you evaluate strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, strengths of the wheelhouse is that have a really good, popular, um, regular base. Um, these frequent customers come back on a weekly basis. They provide exceptional customer service. Um, they have a great location, and they have a unique ice cream machine. They just um, invested in a $25,000 um, soft serve ice cream machine that has over 25 flavors. A um, few weaknesses, they have yet to establish their niche, and their size is a little bit on the smaller side. To hold a larger group, it would be a little hard. Um, opportunity. Um, the ice cream investment and um, to also broaden the customer base and threats that they would face is local competition. As far as ice cream, you have Goose Brothers, Rita, Sheets on campus, um, things like that, and then also local diners such as Select Diner or um, any other local restaurants. So the opportunity that, um, that we decided to the market was just the Shippensburg community as a whole, but obviously um, we wanted to bring the average age down, so um, we targeted the younger audience for Shippensburg. Um, going along with that, potential customers were um, just university students with 6,000 plus students just 500 feet away. It makes it super easy for Wheelhouse to um, lower that uh, age demographic to a younger audience. Um, and like we talked about, the investment the new soft serve ice cream machine. Um, when Chile and I talked to the owners, they were super excited about that. Um, they had invested a lot of money into it, so they really wanted a positive um, turnaround with that. Um, I've gone in a couple times and kind of asked them, um, you know, how's it going? And so far, they've had just like a steady outcome with it. Um, they've liked, they would like to be doing a little bit better with the ice cream, but again, there are a lot of flavors, um, and just with one soft serve um, ice cream machine, you can get. Um, flavors such as like strawberry cheesecake, and you can't get that anywhere else around here. So that's something that um, they're really excited for is because people will go there um, specifically for that. Okay, so the things that we want to accomplish through this campaign is to overall broaden the demographic audience. We want to bring that 50 to 70 year um, demographic down significantly um, to do that attract college students. Uh, we'd like to see a 25% increase of students dining at the cafe by December 2015, the end of the school semester. Uh, we also want to promote the soft serve ice cream machine and have a 20% increase by October of 2015. We realize that's a good time to end that kind of thing. It's the end of the summer season, kind of getting towards the beginning of winter where ice creams are not really going to be so popular. Um, really want to improve online presence and gain 100 likes on Facebook by November of 2015 and increase website traffic by 10%. Um, how we plan to do that. Um, one tactic is door-to-door -door marketing through that, um, placing flyers um, with specials. Um, an example that we created was this one with the dollar saucer cone, placing them on doors of all local university housing. Um, bar townhouses, Creekside, Madison, um, Britain Court, things like that. As far as on-campus promotion, uh, we can offer fundraisers to student organizations like the other flyer that we have posted here. Um, as far as doing if they, 15% of the meal gets donated to a PR CSA or the soccer team or whatever um, organization would take advantage. Also look into doing joint partnerships with the university um, to offer <coughs> flex at the Wheelhouse Cafe. And then also offer a student discount with the proof of ID. Um, as far as implementing social media, um, we could do campaigns as far as like the Facebook page and check in on Facebook for a free scoop of ice cream, add a like us on Facebook um, feature onto the front of the menu, 
Uh, share a photo and tag Wheelhouse Cafe on Facebook to be entered into a contest. Um, and also, really, posting photos and special daily is very important on both um, Facebook and Twitter. Another thing that's very important is updating and maintaining the website. Um, currently, I'm not sure if something went wrong with the server, but their website is now offline um, as of like about a week ago. So that right now, they don't even have a website anymore. But to bring back that website, include um, all of the new ice cream information that is not on there at this time, update photos and the about page, make the website more visually appealing and user-friendly, and linking social media posts back to the website, encouraging people to really um, I also just want to point out um, with these two flyers um, that we created, those are uh, these are two um, you know relatively eye-catching flyers that we would definitely want to hang around uh, either around campus or um, hand them out. But th these are two great flyers that they would want to use, especially with the coupon. Um, that's great to kind of target university students, college students love coupons or um, giveaways or anything. That. So um, we definitely wanted to hone in on those two flyers um, and figuring out turning meals into money. Um, we talked about using flex and things like that because you know college students don't have as much money, so we're definitely all about coupons or um, flex. Okay, so um, we did the um, survey on Survey Monkey, and we had um, 72 responses from university students for um, undergrad and graduate students. So our findings. Um, students generally eat off campus a few times a week, meaning um, this gives a, this gives them a great opportunity to possibly dine at Wheelhouse. This doesn't um, this doesn't mean that they're um, totally restricted to eating on campus. So maybe on a Friday morning they wanted to eat breakfast at Wheelhouse or something like that. They're definitely open and willing to do so. Um, Seventy nine percent of students have heard of the Wheelhouse Cafe, but only thirty point nine percent have dined there. We definitely want <coughs> to up that number. Um, 79% of the students have heard of it, so that's a pretty large number, and um, we wanted to kind of hone in on why only 30% have dined there. Maybe they didn't know what kind of food they served there or where it was located or things like that. So we wanted to focus on that. 75% um, of students said they would use Flex at Wheelhouse if they had that option. Um, we discussed with the owners and that was actually their idea. So we uh, want to try and figure out how to work with the university and figure out if that's possible. Um, we know a lot of other universities do that at other restaurants and things like that, so it could it could be possible. Um, and then students that have dined at Wheelhouse would be likely to recommend it to others, and that was that was great feedback to hear, um, knowing that they had a positive experience at Wheelhouse Cafe and knowing that they would be open to recommend it to their friends or um, dine, dine there again. Okay, so as far as costs in the budget, um, it's a very very low cost. Campaign. Uh, as far as the door to door marketing, the biggest cost is going to be printing flyers. Um, Staples does offer six cents a page color printing. Um, doing by 500 flyers comes out to $30. So that's very cheap and it's just the, the biggest thing is time commitment. Um, on campus promotion discounts, um, we can't necessarily measure that at this time because we don't know how many people are going to use the discount, but that would be a factor that they would have to take in. Is, um, it's going to be whatever you choose the discount to be, 10, 15% times by the number of people who use it is going to be a cost that you would have to um, take. Um, social media, free to use, again, that's just a time commitment cost. And um, I would also consider using a management tool such as Hootsuite or Buffer to um, really lower that time commitment that you have to do. You can set up um, scheduled posts so you don't have to be on Twitter every single day if you don't have the time or if you don't have the time to be on Facebook, you can schedule that out and that really minimizes your time. Again, the, main, uh, the website, it's free to maintain, you, it's just the time commitment. Okay, and we have a couple main conclusions. After doing all our research, our research, research suggests that students would choose to use Flex at the wheelhouse if they had the option. Also, students dine off campus like more than a few times a week, and they prefer to get their ice cream from a local ice cream parlor instead of somewhere sheets for giants. <laughs> um, they, these conclusions support our cam campaign plan by confirming that there's great, great potential for students to dine at the wheelhouse and to bring down that customer demographic. Um, all we need is publicity and motivation and one of the main things is that the campaign plan cost is really cheap so that's awesome. 
want to thank you guys for listening and we have some questions. Uh, have you talked to the university about the flex plan? Like, is that a viable option? Um, we haven't talked to the university yet just because we wanted to kind of confirm with the owners if that's something that they would maybe definitely want to go on because there's definitely a lot of rules and guidelines that go along with it. So we just want to double check with the owners if that's something that they definitely want to implement. But they seem to want to do that. Gotcha.